So I don't know what it is like where you live, but my kids are still in school and it's like June and they'll be in school until the end of June, which is crazy. But anyway, we are dealing with a COVID scare right now because the kids got this cough and it was very crazy. Then I got this cough and now our throats are sore, no fever, whatever, it's all a thing. Anyway, kidlet number one didn't want to go to school today. And so I called her out and we took a COVID test at home because we have those things now, right? Like we all have at home COVID tests. And the nurse, you know, emailed and was like, okay, yeah, send me her results so she can get back into school. And I just, you know, took a picture of the negative test and sent it through. And that she's like, no, that doesn't count. You have to go to the doctor. And I'm like, on one hand, I want to just keep her out of school just for the rest of the year, because like, what does it matter? But on the other hand, it's like, why do we have the at-home tests if they're not going to be like counted for anything? And we still have to go to the doctor. These are my questions. Test was negative. I'm very frazzled as a result and, you know, a couple other things, but you know, we're going to do the thing because, you know, it's a thing and I'm going to tell you what we are doing in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudsers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for day 292 of 365 days of soap. And today, we are doing the mint mojito soap. And I'm basically just talking about whatever's on my mind. I mean, we'll also talk about the poor too. But, you know, my channel, my rules, we'll see what comes of it. Let's get to the video and, you know, we can chit chat more there. Okay, today is mint mojito day. And interestingly, with the lime and the coconut and the mint mojito and tomorrow's peach sangria, we don't actually do these boozy because we don't. Maybe they should be, but they're not. This is a soap for a drop in the ocean and it's actually similar in concept to yesterday's soap, but also, you know, different. Colors are similar, the pour also similar, dealing with a different batter consistency to yield different results, really. It'll all make sense later. But, so this is what we are uh, doing today, and I'm sorry, my brain is completely distracted, and so we're just gonna watch the pretty pour, and I'm going to also try to figure out new settings on my new camera that I just got because um, I dropped my camera into the bathtub for those bath bomb uh, videos that I did a few days ago and we tested all the bath bombs and the four different bubbler, well three different bubblers. Yep, dropped my camera and uh, it's hosed. It's so hosed and, and so I had to get a new one which is fun on one hand because new tech is always fun but you know kind of crappy on the other because then you have to learn said new tech but here's the thing i didn't actually learn this camera anyway like my old one because it was it's supposed it was marketed as like the perfect streamer camera or whatever and i don't know there were a lot of settings it was very confusing i never did figure it out so you know i have a new one 
that will hopefully be easier. One of my, you know, very fancy big YouTube streamer friends recommended it. So we'll see. Point is, I've still got a lot of, um, you know, working out to do. Now, just like with yesterday, three colors in the middle of the bar, and they are all different shades of green for this because mint mojito, well, there's a lot of, you know, green sounding with that, you know? And I think I'm doing the exact same pour. Yeah, it's the exact same pour. Um, <laughs> Oh no, sorry, I'm super distracted because now I just got a message. My bad. Anyway, yes, we're going to mix this up. All the scents have been dispersed between all three, all four containers, really. The batter is very, very thin and we are going to go pour this and, you know, see what the differences are between yesterday's pour and today's with, you know, a really thin batter, like really really incredibly thin. So let's go check out this pour. Okay, so on to the pour of this and yeah, the bulk of the batter is going to go in. About half of the, the white is going to go in and then we're just going to layer this right there. And I'm pretty sure I do one right over the top of the other for all of this to create some fun swirly swirls. So yes. And it's fun. Ooh, so is this camera. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can do some fun things with this camera. This is very exciting. I am actually super pumped to do like a live or something so we can play around with this camera in real time. Usually I only use this particular Whatever. You don't care. I'm going to stop talking about my camera. Now, as things start getting, you know, closer to the middle, the colored portion starts getting closer to the middle. That's when I take the rest of my soap batter and just, you know, pour it on the opposite side of the mold to kind of push those colors back. With a batter this thin, though, what it's actually doing is, I mean, it is pushing the colors back to the opposite side-ish, but it's also doing some swirly swirly things inside. So, there's always that, for sure. And I think tomorrow you get another crack at the exact same pour. Nope, tomorrow's a different pour completely. So there's that. That's fun. Now, this is the you know, second swirl part because we have more soap batter in the mold. And so this is one of the fun pours that I w totally just got to mess around with when I was designing this for a drop in the ocean and didn't have any real you know, guidance for it. And so I just kind of let the pour take me where I, you know, want it to go. And that's really how I approach this pour every single time. Like right now, I'm not doing anything particularly, you know, you know, technique-esque. I just need to get the rest of the soap in. And I felt like doing that. I remember, you know, back in the day where I don't know, I guess those those tutorials still exist with all of the uh, very precise lines of colors right next to each other before you skewer. And that's fun, for sure, but you get a cool skewered top no matter what you do. And, you know, that's what I wanted to do with this one. Super thin batter. Let's go check out this cut. Okay, and on to the cut. Now, this was definitely sea popped and gelled. Because when you have batter that thin, oh my gosh, just cover your bases and put it in the oven, put it on a heat pad, you know, wrap it, do something to keep that heat retained as much as possible, just in case you didn't hit an emulsion. Because that was a very, very thin batter. And when you don't hit emulsion, really you're going to end up with some soap that's not going to form right, and it's going to be very strange. I have actually done... Uh, tests on the channel, I think in year one, where I, you know, intentionally threw some some batches, like did not hit an emulsion to show you what that looks like. So what you can, you know, know to look for in soaps if you're concerned that maybe they didn't hit emulsion. But especially for, you know, 
newer soap makers, I always recommend, you know, super fat all of your recipes at around 5% to give you just an extra buffer there. So that means a little bit extra lye in the recipe. So more oils um, aren't saponified just in case you mismeasure something. And also I recommend sea popping just in case you didn't hit that emulsion and you're giving your soap batter essentially a fighting chance to really firm up and for saponification to complete because if you don't hit emulsion things can you know effectively fall out of solution you're going to have you know lie heavy pockets in some places and you know very very soft soap in others it gets to be a whole thing so this did get sea popped because i was worried about the fluidity of that batter and as you can see no it's all beautiful no problems whatsoever and a very cool design it's just you know super cute and that's uh, day 292, the Mint Mojitos. And there it is, the Mint Mojito. And yeah, super beautiful. It's very ethereal with the swirly swirls because of the thin batter. Now, if you wanted the swirls to sort of hold up on their own a little bit more, you need a thicker batter for that. But that's not what I did for this guy. It's beautiful, smells amazing, and it's currently available in a drop in the oceans uh, summer line. So if you are interested in picking those up, you should go check her out at a drop in the ocean shop.com. Very cool, eco friendly, eco warrior, you know, company. Lots of fun things on her website, and my soaps are, you know, one of them. So there's that. If you're interested in seeing, you know, what else we do and all the jazz, you know, subscribe. Make that little thing click over. It's fun for me, and that would be excellent. For those of you who have made that little thing click over, hey, thank you, Sudzers. You are excellent. I appreciate each and every one of you, each and every day. Today is obviously no exception, and I'm out of here because I need to go, you know, get some tea for myself and see how I can get into the doctors to get a COVID test for my kiddos so they can go back to school. But I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Selfie Fun. Bye.